Hey everyone and welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will create a login form page using PHP. In this tutorial, we'll create a simple login system using PHP and MySQL. Now, this tutorial is comprised of two parts. In the first part, we'll create a login form and in the second part, we'll create a local form. Also, we will show you how to create a database in order to access the login web page as well. Now, first things first, let us quickly go to C xamp htdocs and create a folder let's name it demo and quickly open our visual studio code now for this tutorial we'll be creating a set of files for different functions now there will be six in total let us first create these files and we'll write the code later now the first file would be index.php now this is the file that will be responsible for the login page where we'll enter a username and password to login. Now the second file would be login.php. Now this file will be responsible for how our login system will work. Similarly, there will be a logout file that will be responsible for how our logout function will work. Next would be home.php. Now this is the file for our home page when we log in into our account. Next would be a file to link our web page to the database. That would be database connection.php. And finally, we'll add a CSS file to make the page look better. Now let's get on to writing our code. First, let's begin with index.php. Now in this page, we will create the login page. Let's add the title as login. Now here I'm going to link this page to the CSS file that we're going to write later. Now in this reference, we'll refer it to the style.css file we created. Let's create a form. Now since login.php is responsible for how our login page will work, we will link this index.php to login.php. Method would be post. Let us add a heading login. Now this part of the code will be checking for error and displaying error if something wrong happens. Now we will add our username and password fields. Let's add another label for password. Input type would also be password. Now let us add the login button. It would say login and our form here. Now our index.php code is complete. Now let's move on to login.php and write its code now what we are going to do is we are going to connect this page with the database page now here we will be validating the data entered in the form let us create a variable for username and password Make sure you're not making any spelling mistakes, otherwise you will run into errors. Now, what this code is doing is it's checking if there's an entry in the username and password field. And if it is empty, it will display the message as username is required. Similarly, what we're going to do is we are going to create an else if that would check if the password field is empty and display an error message in a similar way now that is set up let's import our data from our database now we have not created the database yet but we'll write the sql query and we'll create a database later now what i'm going to do is i'm going to name my table as users so here I'm writing select star from users where username would be 
the value we passed and similarly password could also be the value that we passed now this is where if the password and username match with what we have in a database it will display a message as logged in now we are going to create a session that would be a login session now id will also be a field in a database that would be auto incremented and work as the primary key okay if function is complete time to write the else part now the else part would be if the username or password you have entered does not match with the one we have in a database so it would display incorrect username or password as the error message location will be same index.php so now we have our login.php file also complete now let's get on to our home.php file and quickly write the code for it we will start the session now this would be our home page let us also link it to the css file tile.css now with this php script we will display the username of the person that's logged in so suppose my username would be mac so it would display hello mac we will very soon see the practical demo for it too now we will link this home page with the logout session that is logout.php and end this okay so home.php is also complete so next would be to work on the logout part now this is a very small code since it is only working to end any session that has been created now first unset the session and then destroy it now can you guess the location it would be index.php now see this is all the code for the logout file now finally we will move on to database connection file where we will connect our entire web page these entire four files to the database so we are going to create variables for let us name it since we have already used uname for username now this is the name for the server and since we are hosting a server locally it is localhost now the next variable would be for the name of the okay let us let us change the spelling this would be name of the default database password would be blank since by default there is no password and this is the name of the database that we are going to keep now let us keep the name of a database as test underscore database now we'll pass the variables that we just created now we will check if the connection that we have created is working or not and if not we will display a message as connection failed now all of our files are complete the only thing left is style.css now since style.css is only for the looks of the, of the web page and is not a very necessary file for our login function i will just copy paste the code that i have already written and let us now move on to creating our database now to do that first open xamp control panel and go to your browser and type okay localhost go to php my admin and click on new database now the name that we wrote for the database in our code was test underscore db so we will have to name it the same here too database has been created the table name would be users number of columns would be three the first column would be for the id 
and it will be auto incremented now id will act as also the primary key for this table second would be user name 100 would be okay and the third would be password now as you can see our table users has been created with id username and password now let us open our login page now this is our login page so to log in we first need some credentials in the database now we don't have that kind of time to go on and create a registration page for it too so let us just manually add one or two records into the database from here php my admin itself so now what we are going to do is we are going to this insert section and under the username let us type mac and password would be 12345 so let's go back to browse and as you can see we have our credentials here mac password is 12345 so let's add just one other simply learn its password would be a b c d e and yes so we have both of our credentials now now let's go to the login page and try to log in with the credentials that we just created so okay let us first enter a wrong password to check if our error messages are working correctly yes absolutely so it's showing incorrect username or password since the password i entered was incorrect now let us leave this username blank enter some random password so it is showing username is required so our program is working perfectly now let's enter the correct credentials and yes so this is our home page and it is showing hello with the username that have logged in mac and now we have got that logout button which will end this session and take us back to the login page now let's try to log into our second account and hello simply learn so this is the end of the video i hope it was informative and interesting if you liked it hit the like button and subscribe to simply learn also if you have any queries do ask us in the comment section below thank you for watching stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.